Okay, so today I'm playing the global tournament with, in my opinion, the best log bait deck for the global tournament. Log bait isn't the best this global tournament, but I think this is like the best variation for the global tournament. I'm gonna Inferno Tower this, and then I'm gonna E-Spirit up here, and it will activate my King Tower. First to Golden Knight, so that's really nice to start the match out. Because, um... All Golden Knight decks are usually like spammy, kind of, like on your side of the map a lot, so it's good to get the King Tower activated right off the start. I'm just going to Guards on the left, because I don't really have any other play. I'm going to Princess on the left, opposite of the Cage, because I know he has a Fireball in this deck. Um, I know now that he's playing Royal Hogs Recruits, um, so I know he has a Fireball, and I don't want to put my Princess on the right to get Fireballed, and then he just has more damage on the right. That's already low. Um, I'm just gonna go Goblin Barrel. He doesn't have his Barbarian Barrel in Cycle, so might have to Fireball this. Um, he does a pretty bad Flying Machine. I'm gonna Guard Surround this Golden Knight because I know he's gonna dash it, and then I'm gonna go for a Low Princess here to defend these Zappies a little bit. And then I th I'm gonna go Valkyrie on this Flying Machine to tank it. In this matchup, a really important thing is don't cycle your log. Like, you cannot waste your log. If you waste your log, you'll lose the game. Um, it's a really tough matchup, but if you waste your log, you will lose because then they'll go recruits and you won't be able to defend one of the sides because um, then their shield will be up and, like, the recruits will just kill your things. But if you log it, then, like, a princess, like, two princess shots plus a log will kill one side. I'm going to go... Gumbrel back here. Okay, he does miss the Bard Barrel. Really nice. I'm just going to Princess the back on the right. Pretty sure he's going to Fireball, so I'm going to Valk on the left. If he does Fireball. Like, I can log here because I'm hitting Zappies and um, Coblin Cage, but... Like, don't just randomly log their tower. That's a really bad play in this matchup. Usually you can cycle your log whenever, but you can't. Um... I'm gonna go for an Inferno Tower here to protect this Princess, kill the Flying Machine, and help defend this Golden Knight. Um, I'm gonna log these Recruit Shields off, and then I'm gonna go E-Spirit, because he might try to Ability. Um, I'm gonna go Goblin Bray all the way in the back again, maybe he misses. I'm gonna go for a second Princess on the left. Go for a Log on the left as well. And this, sh this is a game, he can't really break through with the amount of time that's left. I'm just gonna Valkyrie on the side, High Inferno for these pigs. E-Spirit, just get my guards down up on this Golden Knight, and that's game. P pretty nice, well-played game. Just really just make sure not to cycle your log, or else you'll probably lose. I'm in the next game, um, I'm just going to cycle my log on the tower. He goes for a Firecracker. I'm going to Princess the Bridge on the left because Firecracker always means Hog Rider. And Princess the Bridge first play is good versus all Hog decks. Um, he messes up his test, so I don't really know what he's doing right now. Um, he's going to go for a... Oh, I thought the Princess would survive there. I'm going to go for a Deep Barrel. Maybe he'll miss it. Yeah, he doesn't miss it, unfortunately. I'm just gonna wait for I'm just gonna wait for the hog. I'm holding guards right now so I can react quickly. Um I'm gonna e-spirit the back. Holding my guards still. I'm gonna log. Uh, unfortunately hogs right as I log, so that is gonna get a hit, I think. Yeah. Not the best, but it's not the end of the world either. I need to defend this firecracker. I'm just gonna go for a Valkyrie on it. Come in. He's probably going to Valkyrie, yeah, so I'm not going to Princess the Bridge. I'm just going to Princess on the Valkyrie, go for a Goblin Bear all the way in the back. Maybe he'll mess up. Um, he did mess up, but I do get one shot. I'm going to E-Spirit up high to defend this Valkyrie. I purposely let the Valkyrie hit the Electra Spirit because I didn't want him to like run away and activate the King Tower. Uh, I'm going to E-Spirit, I mean log the thing and then go for... Inferno Tower. Let's go. I don't know why I said E-Spirit. I princessed a bridge there because whatever he puts on the princess will die to the Inferno Tower. So it's always good to princess the bridge when you have an Inferno up. Just gonna wait and see what he does. I'll probably just Goblin Barrel. Because he doesn't have Hog yet. Um, 
Okay, Earthquake's my tower. Um, go for E Spear at the back. Log. Goblin Barrel in the back. Princess. And the Valk on top. Um, I might rocket the tower here, depending on what he does. Okay, he does that Tesla. I'm gonna rocket the tower. That was a bad Tesla, because it's not gonna provide him like any counter push. I'm just gonna guard E Spear at this Hog Rider, and it's not gonna get any hits. Guards E Spirit does full counter the uh, Hog Rider if you've placed the guards in that placement and fast enough. It's gonna log everything. Inferno Tower, the Hog Rider again. I'm gonna go for Princess at the bridge right as the Hog is dying, so we can't really react in time because he thinks the Hog is still tanking. I'm gonna go for a Valkyrie up top over here, and then I'm gonna go for an E Spirit. Just like 2.6, um, if you defend a Hog without an inferno tower you can rock at their tower and the guards are really good on the hog rider in this because they can't like instantly kill them so it's a little bit easier to rocket cycle than if you had like a goblin gang that gets wiped out by earthquake i'm gonna princess the back e spirit the back i'm gonna log this i'm gonna go guards and just rocket the tower no hits again um, I'm just gonna Valkyrie off to the side so the Firecracker doesn't hit my tower. I think I'm gonna go for an Inferno Tower up high just to kill this hog, and then I'm gonna log as well just to hit the tower. I'm a few logs. I'm two logs and a rocket away from winning. I'm gonna go for the high E Spirit here. I'm gonna go for a Goblin Barrel in the back. Maybe he misses. I'm gonna go for a rocket on this Hog Rider because he did outcycle my Inferno and I. Didn't have anything to pair with the guards to stop uh, getting the hit. I'm one log and a rocket. I'm going to Inferno Tower right here. This won't pull the hog normally, but I'm going to hold my E Spirit up here. And if you put the E Spirit down there, the hog will go for the Inferno. And in that placement, he can't actually Earthquake the Inferno Tower and the Weak Tower. So he has to make a choice on which one. That's a really uh, good play there that you can make. If you're in a pretty like desperate situation, you can't take the hit. And you want like just them to make that choice. I'm in the next match. I'm just gonna E-Spirit Goblin Barrel for a play. Always a good and safe play. Like, you can't really get punished for it. The worst that happens is to activate the King Tower. But even if they activate the King Tower, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna Princess the Bridge on the right because he used a Barbarian Barrel. And Princess the Bridge is always good versus decks that have Barbarian Barrel, like Golem, Electro Giant, Graveyard, P.E.K.K.A., stuff like that. I'm gonna split my guards here on this Fisherman, then Valkyrie in the middle. Just gonna log these royal hogs and then I'm gonna E Spirit this Mother Witch. I'm gonna go for an Inferno Tower on this Ram Rider. Pretty bad Ram Rider there. He still has to respond to the Valkyrie unless he wants to take some damage. He should have Ram Ridered in the same lane as the Valkyrie. He had to waste an E with there because of that. I don't think anyth anything's gonna happen, but he did waste four Elixir because of it. I don't think he has a lightning because he has cold and night and mother witch usually that deck runs fireball so my inferno tower should get a lot of value i'm just gonna go for a low princess here and then log this mother witch i'm gonna go e spirit at the bridge because he might fisherman and i can block it yeah okay i'm gonna go guards here to protect this princess and then I'm just gonna let this princess go because I can't block the Golden Knight dash, like he'll just dash it. I'm gonna have Valkyrie now. Um, I'm gonna kill the Golden Knight here. It doesn't matter that my princess didn't survive because he would've just activated the ability and I can't protect it anyway. I do get a Valkyrie hit here, I think. Yeah, I get one hit, not bad. I'm gonna princess and then log the E-Wiz back. I'm gonna go for a E Spirit Goblin Barrel with the Goblin Barrel off to the side, so maybe he messes up. He does mess up, and I get a pretty nice connection there. I'm gonna go for a Princess on the left, even though it is on my weak side tower. I don't want to put it in the lane of his Pekka because we'll get less value, and it does bait out the Inferno Tower. I'm gonna go for the Goblin Barrel. He doesn't have Barbarian Barrel in hand or a Fireball. This Inferno Tower is about to get a lot of value because he has no way of dealing with it. I'm just gonna log E Spirit to block the E Wiz Princess down low. And then I'm going to go for a Valkyrie on this Ram Rider, guards, 
and I don't think I need a log. I'm just going to go for a, a goblin barrel here. He does a really bad Mother Witch. I'm just going to let it die. Um, and that's one rocket to take the win. I'm just going to rocket the tower. Pretty easy win there. A good matchup as well. He just can't really break through the Inferno Tower since he doesn't have like any reset to it. And Mother Witch after the nerf is just not that good anymore. It dies to two logs or two princess shots and a log. Like it's just not good. So that made that matchup much easier than before. Um, I'm just gonna log this. Unfortunately, the like beginning of the video didn't record. I'm not sure why, but I'm just gonna go for an Inferno Tower on the right. Rocket this balloon. What you just saw there, by the way, was me goblin barreling his miner and logging it to get it off. Um, he already used his arrows, so I really wanted to keep my princess alive. Um, I'm just gonna go for a goblin barrel here. So he either has to arrows or lose his tower. Um, he goes skeleton arm. I'm gonna princess on the side. I'm gonna go for log over here. Guards, e spirit. Um, I'm not gonna princess, even though it looks like I should, because he's gonna balloon right now. Um. I'm gonna go for this rocket. Hopefully it's, he's gonna get a death bomb as well. I'm gonna Goblin Barrel the tower. He doesn't have Miner in hand yet. I'm just gonna Inferno Tower right in front of the Lava Hound and that should be game. There's no way for him to get to my tower. Really close match there. Uh, I'm sorry that the beginning of the match like didn't show. I'm not sure why like it didn't pick up 